Hello everybody, Tony with the Full Auto Group. Today I'm taking you through a Coachman Freedom Express Ultralight Edition 257 BHS. I'm gonna cover a lot of specs and features during this video, but I can't cover them all, so definitely come by and check this out. It is a sight to see. Let's start with some of the specs. We are 28 foot seven inches in overall length, weigh approximately 5,300 pounds, unloaded with a GVW of 7,600 pounds. We carry 49 gallons of fresh water, 35 gallons of gray, 35 gallons of black. We have a six gallon gas and electric water heater and we sleep up to eight people. Now let's go over some of the features. We have our fully molded front fiberglass cap coming down to our diamond plate rock guard. We have LED lights going up each side of that window and they're really cool when you don't have the sun blasting right on them. Don't fear the window going this way down the road because it is windshield material. So it's very, very tough and durable, just like the windshield in your car. Here on the front rail of the frame, there is a battery cutoff switch, which is factory installed. We have our battery rack, which comes with a complimentary deep cycle interstate battery when buying from us. And right below that, you have your spare tire nice and neatly tucked under the tongue and not dragging in the back end of the trailer every time you go down a driveway. We have two five gallon, 20 pound LP tanks up here on the front, right in front of that, we have our power tongue jack, so no more cranking, and it works great for hooking up those load distribution bars. Moving down the side, we have our smooth fiberglass exterior with welded aluminum framing, foam block insulation, and our Asdell sideboard panels. If you don't know what Asdell is, check it out. It's definitely an upgrade in the construction, and these are fully laminated walls, even the rear wall, and I'll show you that when we go around. We have our full pass-through storage and it's loaded with goodies right now. We have a folding exterior table, a bracket for the griddle to hang on, and a short piece of countertop to go with our outdoor kitchen. Oop, did I say outdoor kitchen? All right, up on top we have our WineGuard Air 360 off-air high-definition antenna, which is powering up the TV right now. We have a perfectly crystal clear picture on it. We're getting about 48 channels from that signal right now, and we are not in the best of areas. There's your Dometic Central Inducted Air Conditioner. This has Central Inducted Heat as well. We have a 30 amp service with a disconnectable cord. Cable and satellite hookups with your Black Tank Santa Flush. To the right of that is our exterior shower with hot and cold water to wash off any dirty dogs, kids' feet, whatever you got. There's all your dump handles for your tanks. We have four points of power stabilization jacks. And I did say power. They're on independent switches, front, rear, right, and left. So I'll show you that in just a second. Up there on top, you're gonna notice that Voyager mount for your backup camera that's pre-wired for, sitting right below that center clearance light. We have our ladder going up under our fully walkable roof. <clears throat> and this rear wall is even laminated. This is a vacuum bonded laminated rear wall. <coughs> Bear with me, we got a train coming. It's gonna be right behind this wall. So that's why I always talk loud and fast. Coming around this side, we have our power awning that extends out eight feet. We have an LED light strip up against the side of the coach, so you don't have to have this awning out to utilize that light. You can put that awning in, and that light still shines bright. There's your outdoor kitchen with your slide-out sink, silverware drawer, and refrigerator. Right below that, you have two switches for the rear jacks, both right and left. We have our spread axles, which will keep you going straighter in windy conditions because it spreads them out and keeps you going right behind the tow vehicle. Closer together, you'll get a little more whip in this trailer. There's your other door of your full pass-through storage and your other two switches for your jacks. And I have one partially down, so these are not scissor jacks. These are, they're kind of like being pigeon-toed. They come down and press against each other to even take some of the wobble out, not just applying downward pressure. Come back around here, we are back to the front, which means we are going to go inside. As we go inside, we have our three steps of our LCI solid step with our big 13-inch top step. We also have our leash holder and bottle opener. You have a beer with your best friend. Here's an output for your cable and a 110 plug. So you can slide that griddle onto this rail as well as a short piece of kitchen counter and watch TV out under your awning. As we go inside, we have residential style linoleum. We first see our full wraparound booth that converts down into a bed and a very long bed so your taller people aren't sleeping in a fetal position as if it were two bench seats with a table sitting between them. We have all our pleated nightshades and it does do a great job of blacking this place out to get some good sleep. Turn a little more, we have our Dometic thermostat there on the wall for central heat and air. Two full-size bunk beds and very long so any taller people in your family can definitely sleep comfortably. This is a window, but that exterior kitchen door, when lifted up, blocks that window. So 
We'll get a lot more light in here if that was dropped, but I have it up for displaying purposes. We go into the bathroom. We have our porcelain toilet with our tub and shower, residential height sink, and medicine cabinet. Lots of room in here for people that are sleeping in the bunk area to come in, get showered, get dressed, and be ready for the day. As I spin, this is awesome. We have a 170-watt Jambani solar system up on the roof with a charge controller mounted right next to the bed, and I'll show you that. So you're, you do have solar on board. It is included. All of your cabinetry has hidden hinges. Very nice, peppy, updated cabinetry. As I spin, we have our 8-cubic-foot propane electric refrigerator. One piece countertops, microwave, your hood, oven, and stove top. Stove tops covered in glass to increase counter space when not in use. We have a dual well, dual well stainless steel sink with covers to increase more counter space when you're not using that. And your residential style faucet with sprayer. Turning a little bit more, we have our entertainment center. TV's playing off that antenna I showed you outside. Below that, you have your stereo. That is Bluetooth. Above that, you have a cool purple light. Two bedroom doors going up each side of the bed. They're maximizing the space in this. Remember, we are well under 30 feet and can sleep eight people, so they do a great job with the room. You still have a full queen in that bedroom. Look at the pictures. This TV does spin around so that you can watch it in bed. All you gotta do is pull a pin and that whole thing rotates. As we go in here, I'm gonna pan down. We have our solar charge controller by Jambani right here next to the bed. This bed's got drawers on each side with shoe cubbies. Lots of room in the walkway. As we look here, we got a window, and that's the one, that windshield material, looking out over the head of your bed. Real residential size queen, 60 by 80 mattress. Wardrobe all the way up and over. Spin a little more, we have our rolling doors, not curtains, to close this area off for privacy. Close those doors, flip that TV around, and it's movie night. Here's your control panel. So it controls your slide out, your awning, various lights, your water heater, your tank levels, and so on. Kind of pan around here a little bit. Don't forget the Asdell and the sidewalls. Read about it. It is definitely something in the construction of this that makes it superior. All right. Notice there is no carpet in the slide out. Finished in linoleum as well. Nice little accent lights below each bench with storage there. Slides open. This table is just sitting there. It's free floating. It could be left at home. And now you got a sectional sofa, but you can't make the bed. All right. You may not want that many people sleeping in here. Let's go back outside. Starting with my 13 inch top step. So I don't get a running start. And if I took my shoes off, that's where I'd leave them. And I'd slide my feet right in because I am that geek of a dad. That wears slip-on shoes. All right. Kind of pan around here a little bit. All right, everybody. This is our Coachman Freedom Express Ultralight 257 BHS. We are 28 foot 7 inches in overall length. Weigh approximately 5,300 pounds. Unloaded with a GVW of 7,600 pounds. We have a 49-gallon freshwater tank, 35-gallon gray, 35-gallon black, and a 6-gallon gas and electric water heater. And we sleep up to 8 people. We have our fully molded front fiberglass cap with our diamond shield, diamond plate rock shield. There you go. Spare tire neatly tucked under the tongue of the trailer. Battery rack, which comes with one battery, battery disconnect. All of your propane tanks, power tongue jack, four points of stabilization jack, central heat and air, power awning with LED light strip. You name it, it's got it. Come on out and check this out. 209-404-2200. Check us out on the web at www.referralautogroup.com. As always, we're a full service facility. We have our service center here that caters to all our clients service, warranty, repair, and upgrade needs. We even outfit that tow vehicle to tow any of these trailers safely down the road. Techs are hard at work in there. We have on-site financing parts and supply. We are the home of the forever warranty. That is a lifetime nationwide warranty on everything we sell up to two years of age. As always, thanks for watching. We truly appreciate it, and we look forward to meeting you. Take care.